The Horizon 3 shopping list of the Philippine Army now focuses on missile and rocket artillery systems as part of its new archipelagic defense posture, which focuses more on A2AD systems and firepower delivery, similar to what the Australian Army, US Army, Japan SDF, and other allies are shifting to. No tanks and armor, not much tube artillery. Max Defense Philippines believes that this would be part of the new security sector assistance roadmap between the Philippines and the US, and between one and two batteries would be acquired. It has already been reported numerous times that the DND is finalizing negotiations with BrahMos Aerospace for the BrahMos Mobile Coastal Defense Batteries for the Philippine Army's land-based missile system acquisition project. Originally, the project was for two batteries for PHP 10 billion, but since the project was delayed and moved to the Horizon 3 phase, it appears that the budget has been proposed for an increase to allow the acquisition of three batteries. It remains to be seen if it will be approved by Malacanang. Land-based missile systems, which have a range of 280 kilometers and a circular error probability accuracy of 1 meter, with sea skimming capability. During the 125th anniversary of the Philippine artillery, Philippine Army Commanding General Lt. Gen. Romeo Bronner also announced that there is indeed an intention to acquire the HIMARS shortly, although not much detail was mentioned. It has already been mentioned several times that the Philippine Army is interested in the American M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS, although we believe that it would be acquired through direct negotiations with the U.S. government. The acquisition would be separate from the acquisition of other MLRS systems and would not compete with Chumu and Lynx poles. Under the Horizon 3 phase, the Philippine Army wanted to procure a total of 8 MLRS batteries, 